Welcome to the Yum Yum Yogi. Let's celebrate spring slash summer with eggless frittata. Doesn't that look gorgeous? Before we do anything else, let's have this powerful thought. The truth in your heart frees you from sorrow and gives you compassion for all beings. Today, we will be making something wonderful with lots of ingredients. It's easy if you break it down into two sets. Veggies, which you need one third cup basil, one teaspoon thyme, half a teaspoon salt, black pepper to taste, one cup diced asparagus, you can use other veggies if you don't have asparagus like broccoli, one cup chopped cabbage, one cup diced potatoes, half a cup diced red bell pepper, and half a cup of sun-dried tomatoes which you rehydrate and pound into paste. Take a walk, take some oil, not too much oil. Saute the potatoes. Cover and let cook for about three minutes. After it's cooked for three minutes, then you add the rest of the veggies. There are the asparagus in there, pepper to taste, salt, red bell pepper, cabbage, saute and then let cook these for another three minutes. Don't overcook them because they're going to get baked again. Just for another three minutes should do. And now add the sun-dried tomato paste and mix thoroughly. At this point, it's good to preheat the oven to 400 degrees Fahrenheit or 200 degrees centigrade. Now we can start prepping ingredients for the filling. We need 16 ounces or 500 grams of tofu. Extra firm is good. 1 fourth cup chickpea flour. 3 tablespoons cornstarch, 1 cup almond milk or any other milk is fine. I'm using almond, half cup nutritional yeast, 1 tablespoon mustard, a tiny pinch of black salt which you get in the Indian store and cayenne pepper to taste. Take a big bowl, crumble the tofu, add the milk and the rest of the ingredients and take a hand blender and blend till it's pourable consistency. They shouldn't be any lumps. So blend till it's about liquid and pourable. There goes the black salt. Oh, by the way, you get the black salt in the Indian store. You can use a regular blender, but for me it's easier to use a hand blender. There. Now, to this add the cooked veggie ingredient, or we are adding basil. Remember, you can have any fresh herbs. I like basil, so I'm using basil. If basil is not available, use any other fresh herbs. Now add the veggies, mix thoroughly, take a spring foam pan. You can take any pan, but a spring foam pan you can detach the sides easy. That's why I'm using it. Coat the base with non-stick paper and oil and transfer the ingredients onto it. Even it out and bake in the oven at 400 degrees Fahrenheit for 30 minutes. Let stand for about 20 minutes before you cut it. So a toothpick inserted should come out clean. Now detach the sides like you're seeing on the screen with a spatula and take the sides of the spring foam pan out. There you have one delicious looking frittata. It's so tasty. It's vegan, it's eggless, it's wonderful and it's really good to celebrate spring. The truth in your heart frees you from sorrow and gives you compassion for all beings.